inside the Cinnable episode 7.4. Sean, we're going to break down 160, 170, and 182. Let's get after it. Break it down. I think you need a new marker there, buddy. No, nope. Eddie James Eddie gave James. us some good markers. We're good to go. Watch me get them in. Yeah. Go. 160 is still as confusing as it was at the beginning <laughs> of the season. Um, injuries have really taken a toll with this weight class. It's just still confusing. But we do have a new number one here, and it's Jimmy Thompson. Ooh. Lancaster Gales. Solid third up at Medina, comes back, gets a uh, championship ring at the Porter Invitational. Yeah. Solid kid all the way around. Sportsmanship award up at Medina. Great job, buddy. Great job, Jimmy. Number two, we're moving him down a spot, Lane Hinkle. Okay. Recently the runner-up at uh, Maumee. Yeah. Went unplaced at Brexville, but again, I thought that was a tricky spot for them in Marysville, so I'm not going to hold that against them. Uh, Still kind of working his way back from that horrible knee injury he had last year at the district finals, but a solid number two here. At number three, Tyler McCafferty. Um, he's going to be out a couple weeks. He uh, had an injury. He got uh, slammed there at the Old and Orange Tournament. Uh, he's going to be out a couple weeks. Solid kid. Uh, has that big win over state qualifier Noah Edwards. Noah, I think it is Noah Edwards from Twinsburg up at uh, Solon. So, solid kid. Nothing. No. Don't ask him. At number four. Cepeda, Marysville. Been out for a while. Uh, still find the injury bug. I'm kind of getting kind of nervous about him at this point. As we talked about earlier, six weeks away. He's got to get on the mat if possible to try to get back into shape. But um, <laughs> I was going to say, I'm just glad he's out of the body cast, but he wasn't in a body cast. <laughs> in my brain, that's so funny. But it's that, not funny. It's not funny. You're right. And number five, a new guy into the rankings here, Josiah Harrell from Licking Heights. Really a dynamite guy, big move on his feet. Um, was really on a close match with Drexel at 170 at the Old Tangent Tournament. Come down again, he was in the match with McCaffrey. Uh, had a nice, I don't say nice, he just had a good move that the uh, referees thought was illegal and uh, was DQ'd there. But he comes back and wins the Licking Heights Tournament pretty handily. Uh, great kid on the mat. We're going to get a six and seven deep. What? Because these are guys that I don't know if are, they're just solid guys I think we should give some mission. Okay. Here. Mason Pillow, uh, yeah. he wrestled 160 at Madonna, went up to 170, got beat at the uh, Licking Heights tournament. Yeah. But I think he'll be down here and he'll be in the mix here. And then at number seven, I want to give a shout out to Will Stratton. He doesn't have any big wins, but he's like 3-2 with Jimmy Thompson, the number one guy. I mean, you're a one point, one point match with the number one guy. I'm going to give you some love here. Solid guy. Um, again, I think any of these seven people, this really isn't like an overpowering weight. I think it's more of seven guys that are kind of equal, right. that can all interchange here. That uh, are just. I think these seven guys are good fit for 170 pound weight. I'm sorry. These guys are good fit for 160. I just think they're good fit here. So these are the guys we're going to give some love to. That's almost eight guys, and you think, I mean... I, you know, the thing is, I think they can all win a match, but how many of them can string matches together? I mean, call. that's just where it's going to come down to. And if in, a, in an almost perfect world, if we had an eighth person here, there'd be your quarterfinal matches. But we know that this is, one of these matches is probably going to end up due to the fact that the way brackets work. This could be a first-round match yeah, at the district be, tournament, yeah. man. I think there might be a number eight guy, too, here in a couple weeks there at that spot as well. A little inside tidbit there. Yeah, give me 170. But we're going to move on to 170 because that's what we do after 160. And uh, this is another one of the weights where a guy who sat out half the season has made his debut. And at number one, we're going to go Clayton Ray from Central Crossing. Certainly. Uh, kid, he got third up at Mommy. He lost early, fought way back, and beat a kid I think he lost to in the first uh Second round there. Second round, I Second think. round yeah. there, mom made to beat him. So um, had to get down the weight, which is kind of tough the first time you're doing it. But he got healthy, he got back, and he got a solid third. We're going to put him at number one right now. At number two, we're going to put Driscoll, Hilliard Bradley. I think this kid has at least a minimum of three tournament titles this year. Kind of just jack hearing everybody. Um, really wrestled well. He might even be undefeated. Maybe. I have to look into that. That could be a possibility. Know, yeah. Solid kid, like I said, two-time district placer, been knocking on the door. I think he's going to punch his way out this year, and we're going to put him at number two right okay. now. Okay. At number three, a guy I talked about at the beginning of the year as a really dark horse has come out of that dark horse shadow and is now put into the favorite role. Kyler Slade, own Tangi. I just absolutely love the way this kid wrestles. It's just a tough, hard-nosed kid, hard worker, always going at it. He just continues to get better and better and better every week to me. 
He uh, got second at Old Tangy Orange and probably one of the worst calls I've ever seen in high school wrestling. Good God, that, that was just a horrid call. But he had the cross face. But he had the cross face. Jeez. Then he comes back, he gets a solid fourth at Top Gun in a match. He probably could have got third in. Uh, right. So again, a guy that just really is just coming out of nowhere and continually getting better. At number four, we're going to put Donatelli from Hilliard Darby. He has yet to wrestle, but we're going to put him in here for one more ranking. The C is a former uh, or a returning state qualifier here. Still not sure if he's going to go or not, but we're going to put him in number four just to put some uh, structure on the weight class. And then uh, number five, we'll go Clayton Carroll here. Okay. Uh, solid kid, had a good match with Driscoll at the Porter, uh, multiple district qualifier, just a hard nosed kid that could be in the mix here. Um, Certainly. Solid kids here, really deep weight class. Jake Kandersky has been wrestling at 170. He's another kid that would be in here as well. So, uh, again, like 170, I'm sorry, I like 160. Just a good fit of solid kids that are interchanging here. And uh, this is where we'll be at for this uh, number two of three rankings. Gotcha. How about 182? Oh, I think I know who's number one here. I, I don't have any eligibility left, though, Sean. Okay. Yeah, okay. go ahead. So, you're saying you're 182? <laughs> Is that what you're saying? This weight class is, I think, headed by uh, three kids here, actually. We're going to go with Jake Hines, number one here, coming off of that Licking Heights tournament win, where he really wasn't pushed hard at all. At number two, we're going to go with Nate Hall, who uh, wrestled Jake Hines this year, lost to him by one point of a Medina, but Hall was coming off the football field pretty much uh, because Olden Tangy made that deep run into the right. semifinal state tournament. He was champ at Olden Tangy Orange. He was champ at the Top Gun. Yeah. Two uh, pretty solid tournaments there. I think this match is going to go either way every time they wrestle. Yeah. At number three, we're going to go Lucas Staten. We had him at 70 last uh, ranking. He's been wrestling exclusively at 182. I think he's comfortable there. He likes it there. He's had some solid finishes. He got fifth at Brexville, which is better than it looks. And then he got fifth at uh, Mommy Bay as well. Yeah. So I think these three kids are pretty solid kids. They're pretty much interchangeable. And um, pretty solid weight. At number four, we're going to go Eric DeLuce. Solid. From Lancaster as well, uh, first at the border, uh, high placer at Medina, where he actually had nipple from Lodsworth on the ropes. Yep. I thought he was going to pull that match off, oh, but end up sliding out of that. But uh, solid, solid weight class there. I really like these kids as well, and uh, these are our rankings at 60, 70, and 82. Right on, and now you are inside the circle.